Hello, um, I'd just like to show you my uh, spare air tank I've uh, made, well made, put together for uh, my compressor. This tank is an old gas bottle, um, 47 kilograms UK, so uh, it'll obviously differ if it's uh, in a different country. Uh, this one, from what I've read online, should hold 95 litres, so nearly a hundred, and um, this is how I did it basically. Um, first of all we have this, I decided to go straight into the bottle, I figured it was easier doing it that way for me anyway. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any problems with this being on an angle, but if I do it'll just be a case of putting the um, female to male adapter in here so this fit in is uh, three quarters um, if you have a gas bottle which is smaller like the propane ones I'm not sure on the exact size but uh, three eighths is too small so I'm assuming half inch and if you look at this valve here that's broken I don't know if you can see it but the threads are tapered so there's no good you measuring the threads I mean these threads are tapered on the gas bottle so that when it goes in you get a really tight seal on it because it's obviously carrying gas so but um, it, it's probably half inch on that one but on this one it's three quarters um, I measured the threads inside first well no actually I measured it on the valve ordered one inch to quarter inch too big so this three quarter inch fits fine i've got a female 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 quarter inch bsp all the fittings are bsp by the way so female 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 then i got a um, equal union there to go into my uh, regulator and oil and water separator so that's just a standard quarter inch male to male on this side which is the output i've put um, on these quick coupler connectors now um, this one came on my um, on my compressor and um, it uses the shorter fittings but the ones with the wider on the inside I don't know if you can tell the difference but there's that one and then that one uses the, um, the longer ones so different anyway so that's your output um, obviously I've got a ball valve here quarter inch male to male I've got an adapter which you've just saw that's obviously a quarter then I've got my usual quick coupler this this um, this pipe will go to my compressor I've, I've changed my end piece, I put that one on there and then put one of these types, well them types on it, onto my compressor, so now my compressor has two types, so this type and the uh, the shorter ones with the wider inside, so, um, so yeah, this is how I did it, I, I couldn't see much online for UK stuff, it was all US or you know and they give all these weird sizes and they, nothing makes sense it's just a case of for figuring it out yourself really but um, now that I figured it out I'm sure you can um, you can do the same if you want to uh, what I will say though is um, when you get a gas bottle like this you will have to put in the drain so you're going to have to uh, drill a hole in the bottom um, what I'm going to do with mine is I've got a um, 3 8 inch end cap so I'm going to uh, cut the end off the end cap then uh, drill the hole in the uh, bottom of the gas bottle then weld the end cap to the gas bottle then put my drain in which is a 3 8 so uh, the reason for doing it that way is so that when you've got that uh, end cap or pipe 
essentially a little piece of pipe with threads inside when you've got that on the bottle you're always going to get everything out the bottle when you drain it so uh, that's the reason for that also uh, if you're using the gas bottle you need to purge it before you do anything and the best way I found to do that is fill it with water all the way up to the top and um, then empty the water out I'd say fill it twice because it's still a bit smelly after that uh, also what I did was um, I didn't want to get any sort of tank sealer because it was stupidly expensive so what I did was got a 750ml uh, black hammerite obviously paint straight onto rust I filled filled it in filled it into the bottle with a funnel uh, what I did was let it sit in the bottom for like 10 minutes then I laid the whole gas bottle on its side and then left it in position for 10 minutes and every 10 minutes I would move it round four inches and keep doing and doing and doing and doing that um, and then it done, it's done some really good coverage I've had a look inside it's really nice uh, the only thing I will say is this thing um, is a lip inside so when you do empty out the paint there there's quite a lip inside there so you're gonna have some paint left in there my suggestion for that is repeat the process of leaving it stand on the floor then put it on its side and uh, move it four inches every ten minutes because then the the remaining um, paint that's left in there should then adhere to the inside of the tank you might have to do that two or three times total but uh, that in the end it will will get it, it is a shame that there is a lip inside there I only realized that afterwards but out of the 750 mil I managed to paint the bottle as well uh, spray painted it um, used uh, thinners to thin down the hammerite so yeah that's basically it um, like I say I'm not sure if this is going to be a problem but if it is I'll just add an extra piece in here and uh, everything's got um, um, PTFE tape on it to see, make sure it's sealed you know you, I mean A, A comes out all the time some people say to use Loctite but I'm not too sure about using that I mean it's I think it might be a bit extreme but some people swear by it some people don't well that's the end I hope this will help you out I was lucky I managed to get this gas bottle for free so it didn't really cost me anything apart from fuel to go and pick it up hopefully you can get one free or second hand my compressor by the way is a 2.5 horse uh, 50 litre um, I think it should be sufficient my plan is to uh, add this bottle fill fill this bottle up and then I want to isolate it from the compressor so that uh, when the pressure goes down a bit um, I don't want the compressor kicking in all the time I'd just be a case of using the air in this tank and then when it's got down to a certain level that um, that uh, I find it's not performing on the tools then I'll obviously just um, turn the compressor on to uh, to um, fill it back up again I mean being a two and a half horse it should be okay to fill this on the 50 litre I just don't want to wear the compressor out prematurely so I'd rather do it this way you don't have to do it this way you can do it your own way you could probably leave the compressor on and then let it top it up when it needs to but yeah that's it i hope this helps someone out if it does leave a comment let me know or if you've done it yourself uh, let me know the way you've done it see if you've done it different to what i have thank you